This tutorial will show you how to change your ComSol license file for network licenses, FNL and CKL license types. Before you begin, please have the license file readily accessible. We suggest placing the file on your computer's desktop. Please also make sure to have a working internet connection or the media for the ComSol installer program if no connection is available. The most common reasons you will need to change your ComSol license file include transferring the license manager to a new computer, when the host ID of your system changes due to a changed network card or hard drive, changing the license type, changing the modules within the license, or updating from a trial license to a paid license. The new license file should have been received via email from a ComSol representative. If you have not received an updated license file, please contact your ComSol representative. When updating a network license, you will have to update the license manager computer as well as any client computers. Please note that the following procedure is similar whether the license manager and client are on the same computer or they are on separate computers. We always suggest that the installation of the license manager be handled first then the steps done for the client machine portion. First, let's look at the license manager machine. We will need to replace the old license.dat file with the new license.dat file that was emailed from ComSol. And then we will restart the license manager. Otherwise, it will continue to use the old license file still in memory. In your computer folder, locate your hard drive, your ComSol folder, and then finally the license folder. You will need to remove the old license files found here and replace it with the new license.dat file. Now we need to run the LM Tools or License Manager Tools utility. In the application, go to the Start Stop Reread tab and click the following in sequence Stop Server, Reread License File, and then Start Server. You should see a message on the bottom of the screen alerting you that the server has started successfully. You can also confirm this by clicking on the Perform Status Inquiry button. Now that we've updated the license manager, we can update the client computer installation. To update your license file, we will need to use the ComSol installer. For ComSol Multiphysics versions 5.2 and up, you can start the installer by going through the Start menu, under All Programs, selecting your ComSol folder, and then clicking Setup. For all other versions of ComSol Multiphysics, you can also run the installer by going through the C drive on your computer, navigating to the ComSol folder for your existing installation, and clicking the setup.exe file. Lastly, you can access the installer by downloading it. If you already have the ComSol installer open, please skip ahead to the next chapter. Otherwise, we will show you how to download the installer. To download the installer, go to the ComSol website where you will see the link Product Download on the bottom right hand side. You can also find this from the support portal at the top of the page. Click on Product Download and log into your ComSol Access account. If you do not have a ComSol Access account, you will need to create your account before continuing. After entering your information, you will be taken to the installer landing page. Click on the appropriate operating system and version to begin the download. Once the installer has downloaded, click the file and then run to open the ComSol installer program in a window. The ComSol installer can also be retrieved from a DVD. On the download page, there is an option to download the DVD image for offline installation. After the image has been downloaded, you can burn the DVD image to a disk or run the files from your machine in order to install the software without internet connection. Alternatively, you may request a DVD from a ComSol representative. If you are installing from the DVD, you will need to insert the media into the DVD drive and the ComSol setup window should appear. If it does not, 
open the DVD folder and click on the setup.exe file. The console installer window will appear. In the installer screen, click on the Change License menu button. If you've purchased new modules and would like to install these onto your machine, you must use this option. The Add slash Remove Features button can only add or remove features from the currently installed license. The installer will not update your installation with the new products licensed. Please make sure the license option is set to specify new license. After reading the license agreement, click the I accept the terms of the license agreement button. In the license format drop-down menu, choose port number and host name, then enter the port number and the name of the license manager server. The port number 1718 will be default in the license file. Click next. On this page, you can usually accept the default settings and just click next. On this screen, Review the installed modules and the modules that will be updated or removed from your license file. Those modules that will be added will have a green plus sign, and those removed or uninstalled will show a red X. Note that this screen also includes the Repair All Selected Features checkbox. If you click this checkbox, the installer will repair all products associated with your installation. In this section, you can change the installation options. I will keep mine at their default setting. Click the Install button to start the update. This may take a few minutes. If the DirectX window pops up before the end of the installation, accept the agreement and install. The console finish page will appear automatically when the installation is complete. If there is an installation problem or for more information on the installation, you can click View Log to see the automatically generated log file. Click Finish to quit the installer.